welcome back everybody to a brand new video on the dentist saw channel my name is switch dentist and today we're going to be answering all the questions that all of you new applicants have been asking me about the university so i really hope this does help you out and if it does give this video a thumbs up all right then should we get into the first question let's go we is the dental faculty far from the main campus at Plovdiv? The dental faculty is actually right next to the medical faculty at university. So we have the medical faculty, a sports hall, and then one street down, about a five minute walk maximum. And there you are at the dental faculty. So don't worry about traveling between them. It's literally a few minutes walk away. If you want a tour around the dental faculty to see what it's actually like, I've actually done a video on it. You can check it out right over there. Okay guys, so this is Plovdiv. Here is the main entrance of the medical faculty. And then once you walk in there, right on the right, you have the main auditorium hall. This is where uh, you have most of your medical lectures. Then we have uh, some pathophysiology and all the other subjects over here. And then back to the main entrance. Now as we go down this hallway on the right, we have the library, we have the anatomy department. And then as we go on to and on the left of it, we have the new buildings, which are for medical physics and other subjects that you'll have in first year. And then literally just down the street from there, you have the dental faculty all the way over there. And if you want to see inside the dental faculty, you can just check out uh, my video. I'll link it. I'll link it at the end of this video. All right. Next question. Question number two. As first years, will we spend more time at the dental faculty? or another building as I want to know where my house should be located? That's actually a really good question. And uh, what I have to say to that is, in first year, you're gonna be spending a lot of the time in the medical faculty. The whole point of first year is because we have a lot of students coming from different countries, uh, the point of it is to get everyone to that same level of knowledge. So then you can go on to specialize within your own subjects, medicine or dentistry. So we end up spending a lot of time in the medical faculty, especially in the first semester. But from the second semester, if you are a dental student, you'll start spending more time in the dental faculty but overall they're both very close by to each other so don't worry about where the location is which one is closer to either way you'll be close to the university next question what are the costs of utilities and bills that i should be expecting obviously recently because of all the inflation that has been going on prices have gone a bit higher so i would say expect to spend around 100 levs on electricity and then 20 to 30 levs a month on uh, water bills and then if you live in a place like Saturn or Kavala these are two of the biggest buildings that are right next to the university loads of students go and live there if you are living in them then the rent will be around 300 to 400 euros a month as well so add them all together and then you can do your own calculations for the year also depending on where you live in Bulgaria buildings have uh, maintenance fees that you have to pay as well so for my building the maintenance fee is around five levs a month so it's not too expensive but it's just something uh, to make a note of any estate agencies that you or your friends would recommend um i mean there isn't any specific estate agency that i would recommend to you just make sure that we when you do apply through them all of them should charge 60 percent or less uh, estate agent fees if they're charging you more than that then they're just coming you i would say get out of that before it you know goes downhill and you have to end up fighting with them and arguing with them so it's not worth it in that case if you're charging more than 60 percent leave them uh, but the one thing i will say when you're looking for your apartment make sure you go check it out properly explore the place before you sign any kind of contract personally i had an experience like that so i actually made a video on everything that i've learned about finding the perfect apartment for you in bulgaria the link is right over there you can check that video or i'll link it at the end of this one and that will definitely help you find the best apartment for yourself next question what is your preferred way to pay your uni tuition fee um, I've been introduced to wise pay yes uh, so basically in our university for the first tuition fee it's normally recommended that you actually pay it in cash um, this is just so that the uni can process everything faster and all that kind of stuff but then after that uh, personally I use the app called wise as well uh, I use it to pay my electricity my rent my gas everything that is in the house I just pay it through wise depending on when you're watching this wise is actually offering a free first transfer so if you haven't transferred your university fees yet I'll put my link in the description if you click on that and you pay your fees through that you will get a free transfer meaning you don't have to pay any extra uh, money to wise on um, sending your first transfer so it's a win-win for everyone all right how far away from the university should i live 
this depends on you so personally i prefer to live really close to the university my apartment is five minutes away from the uni it's really nice easy chill and i think it's a good location to be there's loads of shops and everything there but there is also a big shopping store called kaufland and loads of students live uh, behind that it's just because you can do your daily grocery shopping there really quickly and the university is only about a 20 minute walk away so it depends on how much you really like walking or you hate walking uh, and i highly recommend when you come here get a bicycle for yourself maybe the, not in the first few weeks because you need to figure out the road rules and everything i don't want you crashing but once you figure it out, get yourself a bicycle and then you can go anywhere you want within Plovdiv. Plovdiv is quite a small town and it's very compact. So you, if you have a bicycle, you can actually go anywhere you want. You won't have to worry about where you live or what you want to do or how far the university is. Next question. Next question. Is it easy to get a job when you come back to the UK? And do you get enough experience in Bulgaria? I would say for this question, hell yes we get enough experience in bulgaria so once you go into your upper years and you start working on your patients you actually have to go out and look for your own patients now some people might be annoyed by this but personally i feel like it gives us an advantage because it teaches you how to deal with people how to uh, make people feel comfortable with you and how to make people trust you to the point where they're going to come into the clinic to get a checkup and a treatment done by you and the fact that we have to look for our own patients means that we're not limited by how many patients the university provides us you could potentially be working on as many patients as you would as an actual dentist in university you don't have to do one patient a week you could be doing three or four patients and different treatments for every single patient every single week so you can get a lot more experience here than i think you can in any other country as far as the other question which was uh, is it easy to get a job when you come back uh, to the UK obviously with the amount of experience we get applying for a job I think it's relatively easy and we should be able to get jobs quite easily the only thing is as you know recently the UK has decided to introduce the new rule of having to do the ORE when you come back now hopefully this doesn't get implemented but the but the government is very iffy iffy about it it's like one second they want to do it then they don't want to do it but we'll just have to see what happens in the future personally i would say if something is your goal if you really want to be a dentist or if you really want to be a doctor and this is your only option then something as simple as having to do an exam at the end of it shouldn't be holding you back that's my personal opinion and i hope uh, that is the opinion of you people apply all right next question why did you choose Plovdiv over Sofia? The reason I chose Plovdiv is uh, because I've seen Sofia and I knew that it was a big city kind of area. Now, yes, a big city will have more facilities, but the issue with it is everywhere you want to travel, you either have to take a car or a taxi or you have to take the metro. And personally, I'm someone who likes to enjoy walking around in nature, exploring my different uh, places that I can go to while on foot or on my bicycle. And I could achieve that in Plovdiv. Also, looking it up online and seeing how well equipped Plovdiv Medical University was for dental students, sold it to me immediately, spoke to a few people, and saw the place was like, I had to come here. This was the perfect place, and that was the best decision ever. Next question. Hi, I have another question. Sorry, um, you know how you have to find your own patients? Is it hard to find patients? Um, I won't say it's too difficult to find patients. Um, I definitely recommend when you are in your lower years and you're studying Bulgarian, especially the language, uh, pay a little bit of attention to it. It'll just help you be able to actually speak to people. Now, if you don't manage to learn Bulgarian, there are other options. For example, you could use Google Translate to speak to people. Imagine someone came up to you and tried to convince you to go uh, to their clinic to get a checkup and treatment done by them, but they use Google Translate. You'll be less likely to trust them and say yes to them than you would if someone came up to you and started fluently speaking Bulgarian and saying, Zdrasti, kazo me sad. And then you say yes or no, and it just goes from there. So yes, it isn't too difficult and there are a lot of uni students uh, that will also come in for treatment, but I highly recommend focus on Bulgarian in your lower years and it will benefit you in your upper years. Next question. Next question is, hey bro, would you uh, recommend buying a scooter or a bike in Plovdiv? I know it's quite hilly there and I've seen uh, you with a bike as well. Just wanted to get your final opinion. This is my personal opinion. I wouldn't recommend buying a scooter in Plovdiv because a lot of the roads are very rough and there are a lot of hills and footpaths that you have to go up and down on. So it's more likely that they'll break. And if a scooter breaks down, it's gonna be a lot more expensive for you to fix than a bike. And also the bike with the bigger wheels, you're gonna be less likely to feel the bumps on the road, less likely to crash. And I think overall it's a lot better because you don't have to charge it. That's the electricity money as well. Personally, I would recommend spend a few months walking around here using the Lime scooter so you see what it's like. And then eventually you can get a bicycle for yourself. And I think that's the best option. Next question. The next question is, hi Saad, I was wondering uh, how do you take notes in lectures? Does the professor give you the slides in advance or are the lectures recorded? 
can we make our own notes in our own time when it comes to making notes from lectures what you can do is you can ask uh, the upper years uh, to hand down the lectures that they have already got most of the lectures are repeated they'll just have a few adjustments or a few slides here and there that are changed so obviously ask the upper years for the slides beforehand personally i recommend make some notes before your uh, actual lecture happens and then when you go into the lecture just add on to your notes the lecturers don't have time to wait for you to write down everything they're saying so they're going to be going relatively quickly and you don't want to be saying they're missing out on stuff and that's just going to put you down and you're not going to make notes at the end of the day so try making notes before you go in even if it's from the book or not from the lecture just make some kind of notes and then add on to it in the lecture all right guys that was it for today's question it's a really sunny beautiful day today so i'm just going to go down to grab Navaza. it's a lake that we have nearby and just enjoy the rest of the day uh thank you so much for watching if you are new to this channel hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up because i'm going to be uploading a lot more videos and i think you guys are going to find them interesting my name is Vijay and Saad. thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video